Welcome to Holy Ground Hot Takes, where three travelers on the journey discuss the Lenten scriptures together, looking at all things faith, life, and ministry related. Join us each week as we break open the scriptures so that you can too. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Lenten video reflection series. We are hoping that over these next six weeks, you will join us as we walk together on this holy ground. We're going to be reflecting on each week's scripture passages, um, and hopefully we can help you to prepare for the Sunday Mass by spending a little time with the scriptures um, before you come to Mass on Sunday. Um, before we start, just a little bit about each of us. Um, hi, I'm Ann Gallagher. I'm the Director of Faith Formation and Youth Ministry at Transfiguration Parish. I am Karen Luke, Pastoral Associate of Faith Formation and Youth Ministry at St. Catherine of Siena. And I am Vicki Waco, and I am the Associate Director of Formation here at Church of the Transfiguration. And in addition to being your Faith Formation team for the two parishes, uh, we also happen to be friends in real life. So um, <laughs> we are going to be having these conversations together as a way to support each other this Lent. And maybe you guys can each find one or two people in your life who you might want to read the scripture passages with and talk about them. Um, we are going to be posting these videos on every Sunday in Lent, and we'll be talking about the readings for the following Sunday. So you'll have a whole week to watch us before you come to Mass, although I would definitely recommend maybe reading the readings before you watch us, because we might we might have spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> right guys okay so we have a spoiler um, alert <laughs> alert i i mean i think most people aren't really surprised by what they hear in the scripture passages if you've been coming to mass for a year or two or your whole life um yeah but you never know yes. you never know um okay so let's see so we have lent week one um we're talking about walking together on holy ground and our readings this week are all about remembering how god brought the israelites through the desert and into the promised land um, and then we have jesus being tempted in the desert for the gospel reading so that's the first reading in the gospel reading this week um let's see vicky or karen does one of you guys want to share <laughs> about what you thought about the readings when you were praying over them you know, I think maybe because it's beginning a lot, this idea of entering the desert as we kind of enter this period of time. And I think especially with the chaos of our lives, sometimes this idea that Lent is this time to get down to the simplest things, right? Like you can't bring much into the desert with you. So what are like the essentials that we can focus on during Lent? to really make sure that we're, you know, just reconnecting into that and fueled by that to me was something that just kept standing out to me. And that, I don't know, maybe it's a season of life I'm in, but in the first ring, you talked about like crying out to God. And I'm like, yes, like sometimes in our lives, that's what we need to do. We just need to cry out to God and know that he hears us in our desert moments that we're in. Yeah. I like I, how you said it's, you're only bringing the essentials with you because I know that for me, like last Lent, especially, I got really like super overachievy about things the first week. And I set these goals for myself about what my Lent was going to be like. And then like, you know, 10 days in, I was just like, like my Lent crashed and burned, <laughs> right? And I think that's a really good point for the beginning of this season is like, okay, what are you really hoping for on this journey? Yeah, like, I think it's, basically. I think it's really important. I mean, with the pandemic and everything, we hear the scriptures that the Israelites were walking through the desert for 40 years. And then Jesus had 40 days and we've had two years of this pandemic and it feels like 40. It, it feels like 40. Mm -hmm. And I also, you know, love the, the fact that the three of us in ministry are still suffering <laughs> as well. <laughs> and, you know, like we are able to walk with everybody on this journey and regardless of where we are on our journey, if, you know, some of us may be suffering more or mourning more, but we all are called to be like Christ and walk on this holy ground that everywhere we are, 
any time in our lives, we are on holy ground and God will hear us. Mm -hmm. um, we may not know and we may not want to hear what God tells us <laughs> all the time, but we, we still have that relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, I think this beginning week of Lent is a good time to, you know, like the Israelites do in the first reading with Moses to like, to look back on the promises that God has kept to them, um, to remember how he brought them through the desert, and then also to notice and be thankful for the ways that God is present with us right now, because we're, where we are is the holy ground, um, and also to hope for the future, to walk towards the promised land, you know, in faith, even if it's something we can't see right now, or it doesn't seem clear right now. Um, yeah, I, I feel like things feel like they've been going on for 40 years right now. For sure. Yeah. Um, and, you know, even outside the pandemic, where I feel like we're at a place in our society as church and as a culture and as a nation, where it just feels like a lot of things are in flux, things that are going to take decades to sort out. And, you know, all three of us here are kind of in that sandwich generation, right? Where we've got little ones taken care of, older ones we're taking care of, yeah, work we're doing every day. Um, you know, it's, we got to prepare ourselves for the long haul and be willing to take it one step at a time and trust that God is, is always right there with us wherever our feet are landing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, as you know, not everyone knows, but I'm doing the 19th annotation and that's mm -hmm. one of, I think my biggest blessings, there's many, but is to be grateful for the things in my life that I can be grateful for, because even though it seems like this world is disastrous and everything's going to fall apart, that there are blessings and the fact that, you know, we have our faith and that God still abundantly blesses us with things. And, it, and it's as simple as the other day, I was taking my daughter to school. And one of my favorite parts of the day is taking her to school because as we enter the parking lot, we look over the south end of the world and the sky is just lit up with pinks and reds and oranges. And the other day, my daughter was like, wow, God is really cool, huh? And I was like, yeah, awesome. God is really cool. <laughs> You know, so I mean, like that, that is a, a blessing, you know, as, as much as my day could have been horrible, you know, the fact that she didn't brush her hair or we were running late, but that moment was such a blessing. Yeah. And then, you know, with the gospel, you know, we, we didn't talk a lot about like the temptations, but like <laughs> the idea that Jesus was in the desert too. Um, like Jesus has been there. And yeah. so he knows what we're going through. Um, God sees us where we are and God suffers with us um, and walks the road with us. So the idea that uh, I was just talking um, with some people the other day, like Jesus was human. I think sometimes like we forget that aspect because we focus so much on his, the miracles, but Jesus was angry and frustrated and tempted. And, you know, I don't know if I would have made it 40 days without <laughs> food or water, but <laughs> the fact that Jesus did it and is knows our suffering as well, is that something that I take hope in that that's there too. Vicki, anything else? <laughs> I feel like I dominated that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I think that idea though, that of his temptations and like how much noise is in our lives all the time telling us like what we should be or what we should do, or, you know, in our lives, definitely different than in the gospel today. But the idea like we have so much noise telling us who we need to be or what we should do or what we should wear. And that trying to find that quiet in our lives to really connect to what is true and what is from God and what's honest. And I think Lent just offers us that time to try to do that a little bit more um, and not being perfect in it. Cause I can be a perfectionist and trying to just find that simple little thing I can do to make that happen this season. All right, you guys. Well, I think that can do it for our first Holy Ground hot take of Lent 2022. Um, we wish all of you guys watching this from our faith communities uh, a very blessed first week of your Lent. 
Um, and hopefully we will catch you back here next week. Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Holy Ground Hot Takes. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. And of course, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode.